You'd think there wouldn't be any werewolves and robots and explosions. But, you know, you ramp it up, you make a movie, you want to give people a little something, something. To me, it says, hello, everyone. You thought you were just seeing Corner Gas, but you got the movie. Open the jail for the money in the bag. Money now! Okay, okay. Did you bring your own bag? Otherwise, I gotta charge you a nickel. You know, one of the things in the, in the series that was always great is we created these fantasy scenarios that you could pop out to, so you could justify almost anything that you could found funny. You could pop out of reality, do the gag, and come back in. And so we take advantage of that to full effect here in the movie. Nice. <laughs> Does this look infected to you? Now, once Wanda crosses, then we'll, we'll get that a couple times, then we'll put on the shirt, blood spray, and then have you stand up. Okay! No more violence! Wanda, are you okay? I knew it! Yeah, and then turn right around. Good. And then you'll move the eyes and... Uh, okay. So what do you think, Daryl? Should we shoot this? Wolfman! Finally get to see a robot fight a werewolf. <laughs> there's bionic men, there's laser beams. It's like, what's going on? Hank's dream sequence is my favorite scene of the movie, just because it's completely outrageous. So we kind of start the movie and it feels like you're just in corner gas, and then in, in, in scene two, it's like, whammo, what the heck's going on? Background. I don't like this. You've got scope all dolled up like some kind of glacier girl. What are you doing? He's a war horse. He should march down Main Street all proud. I'm nervous acting beside a horse. If I was on a horse, I think I'd feel a little bit better. I don't know what to do! <laughs> I don't know what to do! I just want to get stepped on. So it's all about getting those reins in the left hand. Yeah. Yeah, because then, then I can hold on. And then you can hang on with your right be safe. Yeah. It's weird because it's Thank so God for the stretchy pants and not the polyester. <laughs> Thank you, Wardrobe. They're big creatures, and they're not going to tell me if, hey, I'm, I'm kind of freaking out right now, so I'm going to step sideways. I don't know what he's thinking. The guy that we have who's doing the Wrangler, TJ, is great. I mean, the horse is well-trained, and it's great. And uh, it's a great experience to work with real professionals who know what they're doing. Yeah, because I got yeah, to tighten up on the lens, too. So, another car like that. so what's the plan here, though? Yeah, we're just going to see gonna what, how it works there, Brent just today told me a funny thing he was watching about. So David was queuing when the horse makes a mess. And so he, he said he was watching David and made, Brent said it made him laugh because David was watching, watching, watching. And then he had the cue when the horse did his business. So he would be watching, watching, watching. And he'd go, poo! And then watch again, which just made me giggle. And boom. Frame. And action. Cut. Well, that was pretty good. Nice. We're on to the final shot of the day here, folks. The one we've all been waiting we're on for. To the stunt, guys. Uh, yeah. Roll and rolly. And Sherry.
I don't ever get to do stunts, you know, and most of the stuff I've ever done didn't have stunts in it. So I, I find it really fun. And it seems so much. It seems so much more fun than trying to remember lines. Any finals to them before we put them upside down? I'll just do quick finals and then we'll string them up. Good. That's good, Daryl. Just like that. That's excellent. Action. Stole my horse. That no good. No. Hey, hey. I, I could use a little help here. Hey, maybe I could become a stunt guy. You know, they need old guys. To, you know, we need all kinds of people. I could be. You know. I don't know, jumping out of windows in old folks' homes or something like that. I don't know. Use your Norwegian Navy knife. It's Dutch! The Norwegians are useless! <laughs> well, Bugsy was great. I mean, they're so vulnerable looking. Eh? And I mean, anytime you act with animals as an actor, there's a great kind of camaraderie because we're just the same. They put out little bits of food for the rabbits, they put out little bits of food for the actors, you know, you just, we're in the same boat performing. Oh yeah, well I'm acting with the rabbit down here. Oh, okay, I know. Jump, Judy! I thought you were a bear! When the one got frightened, I don't know if you saw when he started to, to cry, right? And I went, he doesn't like acting with me. I thought this is the first time. This is the first time I've acted with my co-actor and said, I cannot act with that guy. He's, he's too scary. Was that so hard? We're doing movie things um, on Corner Gas. It's been great fun to, you know, do things with special effects. All right, don't panic. We'll deal with this in an orderly fashion. Dixie, you're on fire! You're on fire! Ah! To do kind of bolder, bigger moves and to surprise the audience. You good? You okay? 